A senior at one of the most selective high schools in New York City is refusing to go woke. In a New York Post op-ed, Daniel E. Friends writes, even though I find myself in similar circles as my activist counterparts, I did none of those things. I'm a proponent of equality and pluralism, but I don't believe in the kind of self-aggrandizing virtue signaling that accompanies so much of woke politics. So well said. Daniel joins us now here on Fox and Friends. Daniel, thanks for being here. So oh, great. Thank you for having me. What an outstanding uh, op-ed in, in the New York Post. I encourage everybody to check it out. And another, another thing you write is, I'm a religious conserv Christian and political conservative with an after-school job as a dishwasher at Panera. And you describe who you are at your core as an inoculation, which is fitting uh, where we are right now, in sort of three stages and shots. If you would, what, what are the ways in which you were fortified as a young man, 17 year old, with such a perspective of the world? Well, first I would say um, the values that my parents have had, uh, the values that my parents have given to me uh, is a very important shot and it cannot be missed. Parents must be given their children values and they must be there for their children. Uh, and we've, we've seen um, the full brunt of or, or what happens when, when children don't get the values from their parents, uh, notably the black community, and I would even contend, you know, wealthier families, they don't spend enough time, enough time with their, their children. Your Christian faith and the discipline your parents, they discipline you quite a bit, which now you're saying, hey, paid off for me. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would say that uh, my parents are more, uh, I wouldn't say my parents aren't, or like my, my mother isn't a tiger mom, but I would say that, uh, <laughs> My, my, my parents definitely did rule with an iron fist, but of course, as I've gotten older, you know, they explain why they uh, did certain things, and mm -hmm. ultimately, I, I've come to understand them. In your second shot, you talk about the ability to go to a charter school, which is yes. something that's under a lot of contention here. What has that done for your life? Oh, well, uh, charter schools provide a lot of discipline, especially for children, without that, uh, without the, the, first, uh, the first shot, yeah. which are parents. You know, when you go to a charter school, you're supposed to have your uniform in check. You're supposed to have your belt, your shoes. If, you, uh, if the charter school has um, church shoes that you're supposed to uh, bring in and whatnot, um, it's hardcore discipline. You're supposed to fold your hands, track the speaker, and those things will really, uh, will really, I would say, prepare a child for the real world in the future. Absolutely. And then you, finally, you, you, there's a history teacher that took you in. You've had, it's not that you've lived in a cocoon. You've had the tough conversations with your peers and with teachers. You understand the other side of the equation. Those conversations were important. Yeah, definitely. I would say that in the past year, uh, uh, usually we, we would do um, office hours. After school and office hours, it's usually 20 minutes just to, sure. to uh, give your grievous sense about like a test grade that was inputted incorrectly. But um, we spent more than 20 minutes talking about different ideas. And uh, it was very refreshing seeing students who were normally scared to talk, you know, speak with open minds. Talk about refreshing. Talking to you is, is refreshing. Uh, are so many of your friends, so much of the culture, so much of social media has gone woke, has gone in that direction. Is it intimidating to kind of cut against the grain or is it liberating? Well, I would say that there are very few things in this world that aren't intimidating, but the, the question isn't whether it is intimidating or not, it's, it is whether you have the, I would say, the guts to continue on with it despite that intimidation. I'm intimidated by you, just a little <laughs> bit. This is an impressive young guy right here. Uh, you're, this is not be the last uh, you've heard from him. Daniel E. Friends. Daniel, thanks so much. Thank Great you for having me. Great article at the New York Post. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll also uh, suggest everybody check out Barry Weiss's Substack. Or, uh, you, yeah, definitely check it out. It's where it first came from. Yep. More Fox and Friends on the other side. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.